Hello there folks, my name is Spooks and welcome back to another episode of Box Office Chat. This is the show where I break down the top 5 domestic box office results, see where each movie landed, and see how well each movie did. So let's get started. Number 5 was the Bob's Burgers movie, making 2.4 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of 27 million and a worldwide total of 29 million. So last week this movie took quite a hit, it dipped 63% in its second weekend, no matter the movie that is not the best hold to have in your second weekend and it is definitely cause for concern and while it did have a better hold this weekend it dipped 49 percent it's still not enough to help this movie out once again this is another film that suffered the fate of being a film from 20th century fox after it was acquired by Disney and sadly it doesn't seem like not only will this become one of the highest grossing movies of the summer it also doesn't seem that this movie is going to do very well which obviously breaks my heart because there goes my summer predictions list but also as a fan of both the show and the movie I you can obviously tell I had a little bit more bias to this than other movies that have come out but yeah this is very disappointing and it's not even really the fact that audiences weren't that interested in it or really didn't like it because according to sites like letterboxd or cinema score general audiences seem to really enjoy this movie this wasn't something like death on the nile or the king's man where reactions were mixed it was mainly due to the fact that there wasn't a whole lot of marketing put into this movie and that was a big reason why they didn't do a good job getting the word out and barely anyone saw any reason to go check it out in theaters or even knew it was coming out in theaters which is rather sad once again it might have maybe one more week left in the top five it's certainly going to surpass 30 million domestically and worldwide but it's still rather a big disappointment right now especially considering the reviews were very positive and for how long they were holding on to this movie it's been two years since this movie was originally supposed to come out and the fact that it hasn't really done to the same length as st other comedies like jackass dog or even the lost city is rather disappointing and unlike what the characters sing in the movie it doesn't look like this is going to be the sunny side up summer for the belchers which as a fan once again as a fan of the movie and the show is very sad to report Number four was The Bad Guys, making 2.5 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of 91 million and a worldwide total of 230 million. So last week, this movie was able to jump back up to the number four spot, and this weekend, not only was it able to take on the Bob's Burgers movie, but it was able to stay in that position this weekend i do recall that on sunday these numbers were flipped but when the actual results were reported it was the bad guys who remained over the top of the bob's burgers movie which is really fascinating to see as this movie has been out for ne nearly two months and it's not only still garnering attention from families but also able to take on new animated films though to be fair the bob's burgers movie is aiming for a much older audience and a different type of fan base than the bad guys but still that is quite impressive the longevity this movie has had with how it was able to hold very well for the past month and a half or so this weekend it only dips 24 percent from last weekend which is astonishing and the word of mouth was really helpful for this movie even with it being available to watch at home on demand people still chose to go see it at the theater for the time being it's really incredible and also it is not only universal's biggest movie of the year well until a certain other movie that came out but more on that later but it is also DreamWorks' biggest film since How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World as this was the first film from DreamWorks since that movie to surpass 90 million domestically which is 
fantastic don't think it's gonna get to 100 million domestically let alone surpass secrets of dumbledore i mean i would love it if that would happen but given where it's at right now and the very very stiff competition it's going to face off against this weekend uh, once again more on that later i don't think it's going to get to those totals but that should still not undermine how successful this movie was the fact that it was able to stay in the top five for as long as it has and the word of mouth was so good that it basically was the saving grace for universal up to this point as it was one of five films they released early this year to actually be successful is really quite commendable and even if this is still like one of the last weeks it is in the top five what a run once again really strong holds very spectacular word of mouth not much more else to say but the bad guys did very good and i'm very happy that it was able to do as good as it did and i hope it receives more success in the future Number three was Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, making 5.2 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of 398 million and a worldwide total of 929 million. So not really much more else to say with this movie. It's really successful and it was a Marvel movie that were released in theaters. What did you expect? It is on the cusp of 400 million domestically, which given by the time this video comes out, it will probably already have, so go figure. And it's almost at $1 billion worldwide, just around 70 million away from that total, in fact, I still gotta be honest, I'm not sure if that's going to happen given how where it's at currently at the box office, it might get close, but given how it's, we're at definitely at the point where the hype has died down and the movie's going to start slowing down a bit, especially with Thor Love and Thunder coming out and the more hype and focus and attention is going to be put on that movie than this movie. But that still shouldn't disparage this movie's success. It's, once again, the highest grossing movie of the summer and of the year, both domestically and worldwide. It is a huge hit. I can't see anyone being upset with how successful this movie has become. And yeah, once again, it is still the highest grossing movie of the summer and of the year domestically. Well, for now, at least. As what is quickly catching up to Doctor Strange is the number two movie of the weekend, Top Gun Maverick, which made $51 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of $395 million and a worldwide total of $744 million. So believe it or not, folks, there is even more things to unpack with this movie. Yes, even more so than its breakout opening weekend. First, its second weekend was successful enough. It made $90 million in its second weekend, only dropping 29%, which actually set a record for the best second weekend hold slash drop off for any movie to release to open excuse me over a hundred million dollars now what i mean by this is not the amount of money it made because obviously stuff like avengers endgame and star wars the force awakens and stuff like that definitely made way more money than this movie did in their second weekends what i mean is percentage wise and how well it held with in it between its first and second weekends was so spectacular that it w managed to score the best second weekend percentage drop off of all time it only dipped around 29 percent that is astonishing and enough to surpass the previous record holder of this title believe it or not shrek 2 which dips 33 percent in its second weekend all the way back in 2004 that is insane and even in its third weekend, this movie is still holding impressively. It only dipped 42% in a weekend that pretty much had 
the most stiff competition it could face off, yet it was still able to put up quite the good fight, making over $50 million in its third weekend and putting its domestic total just around $3 million away from Doctor Strange's entire domestic total, which means for the second time in this video, something in this box office charts threw a wrench in my summer box office predictions. Man, what was I thinking? thinking and it's really going to be interesting to see how well this movie compares to Doctor Strange worldwide because it's definitely going to surpass it domestically hell once again given the time this video drops it probably already has and it probably already surpassed 400 million for all we know this it's going to be interesting to see how it does worldwide as it's like around 200 million away from Doctor Strange's entire 900 29 million worldwide total it really is going to be interesting because the hype is still there but given how crowded the summer movie season is and the competition that's coming this way i could see it kind of struggling a bit because dr strange had the benefit of opening in early may and had a couple weeks to make bank for itself as there wasn't really anything coming out Top Gun, meanwhile, has probably one of the busiest months we've had since probably April, and it's definitely going to be facing off very stiff competition. But since it's already done so well against probably its biggest competition of the month, I see no reason why it won't put up a good fight. It might even come close or even surpass uh, Doctor Strange's worldwide totals. For all we know given how much of a behemoth this movie has become because my goodness has this movie surpassed the highest of expectations i heard people saying it could surpass 350 million for its entire domestic run and it already managed to do that in its third weekend that is astonishing it, this is one of the once again one of the reasons i love doing this show seeing surprises like this where they completely come out of nowhere even though this was something everyone thought would be rather successful but to this degree is insane i don't know what else to say man top gun maverick just completely crushed it at this point we'll see how far and how high it can go but yeah it's done leaps and bounds of what i think many of us expected to to do and i could not be happier about that and finally, let's end the video off with the number one movie of the weekend, and that was Jurassic World Dominion, opening with 145 million this weekend domestically and 389 million worldwide. So while this is the lowest opening weekend for any film of the Jurassic World franchise as it came in 3 million under Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom's 148 million opening weekend back in 2018, this is still a very big opening weekend. It is the second biggest opening weekend of the year, surpassing the Batman and sitting behind Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. In terms of post-theater closure era, this is the third biggest opening weekend, once again topping The Batman and sitting behind Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and Spider-Man No Way Home, obviously. This is also already not only Universal's biggest opening weekend of the year, but also their biggest movie of the year in general, topping, well, The Bad Guys. It is also already the sixth highest grossing film of the year, just around 2 million away from surpassing Uncharted's entire domestic run, which will probably do by, well, today. And the ninth highest grossing film of the year worldwide. It's sure to surpass a number of these movies probably, again, by today. So yeah, this was another very solid opening weekend, despite it being the lowest opening of this franchise. It doesn't even really matter, to be honest. It's made a lot of money and really, really opened big, despite the horrendous reviews this movie got. Apparently, audiences are much more positive with this movie it received an a minus on cinema score which is definitely a very good outlook for this movie it's higher than doctor strange which is surprising to say the least but you know 
I think they'll take it and given that it's already where it's at there's no doubt about it that it will become a huge financial hit it's certain to surpass 200 million by the end of this week and I definitely can see it surpassing 300 million domestically overall and 500 million worldwide as well this is definitely a big stupid dumb summer blockbuster that people are eating up and the marketing was really great the buzz was really strong people were excited and interested in seeing this i do question how well this movie is going to do in its second weekend because while the a minus cinema score is rather positive i gotta be honest i could see this movie suffering the same fate as something like doctor strange where the second weekend is quite considerable even though it really won't amount to much because it's already such a huge hit it could suffer a drop of over 60 percent as i feel like well once again the a minus cinema score usually really is a major factor of how audiences will react to a movie i can definitely see people being a little lukewarm to this movie than one might expect i could see it kind of dipping in its second weekend and maybe not even coming a little bit close to fallen kingdom's entire domestic run it could fall under the wayside in some regard it's still a huge hit regardless it's once again already the sixth highest grossing movie of the year domestically and ninth highest grossing movie of the year worldwide but i could definitely see the suffering from the stiff competition and the overall reactions to this movie but that still shouldn't disparage how massive of an opening weekend this was it's already made so much money it won't even matter just like how it didn't matter with doctor strange this is still a genuinely impressive opening weekend and i'm sure everyone who saw and liked this movie is very satisfied with that and those are the top five domestic box office results for this weekend but we're not quite done yet as we've got another week ahead of us and new movies hitting theaters and this weekend we have one new major release and that is the new disney pixar film lightyear this is an interesting one because not only is this a new animated family film hitting theaters in over a month and a half, but it is also Pixar's very first film to be released in theaters since their movie Onward back in March of 2020 as their past three films soul luca and turning red were dumped onto disney plus with only really one of them soul being really justified in that reason and there are many ways where this movie is totally going to crush it one it's obviously the first animated family film to be released in theaters since the bad guys in over a month and a half so that's going to help it out it's also the first animated family film to hit theaters this summer and kids are finally out of school for the summer so this is definitely going to be some one of the very first things they go to see for summer vacation and also it is somewhat related to toy story pixar's most infamous celebrated beloved film franchise even though it's mainly more of a spin-off of that film franchise i think that's really what's going to entice people i also heard people saying that this movie's a tougher sell because no one really is certain about what this movie actually is they're not really being all that certified on how to sell this movie and honestly i think that's what's really going to help this movie because curiosity sells and i think a lot of people are out there going like oh i gotta see this movie i need answers did this actually happen or is this like a movie within a movie this is very interesting not to mention that the marketing has been really solid thus far i've been seeing tons of promotion for it and sorry about the bad pun but the buzz you get it you, you get you get it for this movie has also been rather strong because once again people are very con not concerned but very curious about this movie as many are wondering like i said what this movie really is so i see no reason why this movie won't be a big hit i don't think it'll be as big of an opening as say something like toy story 3 or toy story 4 but it's definitely going to be an a very solid opening weekend that impresses a lot of people i don't know what else to say but 
yeah, I think this movie's really going to crush it this weekend. But we'll see how well this movie does, as well as the rest of the movies that land in the top five on the next Box Office Chat. And that's going to do it for this week's episode of Box Office Chat. What did you all think of the result? Were you satisfied? Unsatisfied? Comment down below and let me know. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this channel, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on all the social media links right there. And until next time, everyone, stay sharp.